guys welcome to my channel my name is Pinta and if you're new here make sure you hit on the subscribe button and also like this video so today I just wanted to do a very quick video about um, some of um, not really some of but about a comment that I always get on my post and I also noticed that a lot of them in um, YouTubers do get this kind of comment on their post as long as they're talking about Gambia or issues that affect Gambia. I don't know why um, people just don't seem to get it. Like, okay, this comment is every time someone posts a video or a Gambian YouTuber posts a video and you go through the comment section, someone is saying, um, why aren't you talking about the Lebanese? Why aren't you talking about the Chinese? Why aren't you talking about the white people and the tourist people? Okay, or why aren't you talking about uh, pedophilia? Or, I don't know but I think it's beginning to get annoying because it's not as if Gambians don't know what goes on what goes on in Gambia we know what goes on in Gambia we are very much aware as much as you if not even more aware than you are okay but that shouldn't prevent us from talking about some other things that concerns Gambia okay I just feel like a lot of people are just being biased because they don't want to hear what you're talking about they have um, it has to be their own way. They want you to talk about certain things, which is, of course, the white race. And, and this has to do with a lot of black people because I, I, I noticed that it is um, black people that come with such kind of post just because um, they want us to talk about um, Lebanese, Chinese, and white. I get it, okay? I get your concern. And if you don't know, I will tell you that a lot of Gambian YouTubers have already been talking about this. And way before now, there has been a lot of um, YouTube content about Chinese or if you guys don't know about the fish mill factory in Gambia. There have been crazy contents about that. There has been protests that have been on YouTube about that. So I keep wondering, like, don't you guys know about all those things? Like, because... I don't get it. Why do you have to come to my comment section every time to tell me what to post? I know what the heck goes on in Gambia and I will post it at the right time. But I'm not going to post anything just because you are telling me to post that or you don't like the kind of content I'm doing because you don't agree with my opinion. My opinion is my opinion and I respect everybody's opinion because Every time I post a video, I'll say leave your comments down below or leave your thoughts down below, whatever the case may be. But that does not mean that you should come back at me with your rude way of telling me what to put on my channel. Because yes, I say rude because some people are being so rude. Like they don't agree with whatever um, content I put out there. Instead, they're going to tell me. Why are you talking about this? Why aren't you talking about the whites, the Chinese, or the Lebanese? First of all, I just want to put out there that Gambians know what their problem is. And Gambians are trying as much as they can to tackle their problem. But it's hard. That Gambia is in Africa. And if you know Africa, if you know Africa, the people in power controls majority of what goes on there. So people will fight to a certain limit. At some point, they get tired and demotivated to keep fighting. But listen, Gambians will refuse to stop fighting until we have the right person. Another issue that um, we have in Gambia and in Africa in general is we always have the wrong leaders. Okay? The wrong leaders who don't care about nothing but their bellies. They would rather take a quarter of a cake than share the entire cake with their citizens. Most of the time, like Gambians, citizens don't know what goes on. You know? Okay, for example, let me uh, talk about the Chinese meal factory. We don't know the heck what. The government signs with the Chinese people. And if the government don't deem it fit to stop the Chinese from whatever disaster they're causing to the Gambian people, what can the people do except get up, stand up, and fight, protest? And, and like I always say, I'm not going to be surprised 
if the government sends their troops to the people for protesting to a certain extent. That is just Africa. You cannot compare Africa to America or Europe. Like America, like um, the president can come and talk about things, you know, say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. But it has to go through different people. It has to go through the Senate. You know, you can't just make a decision in a country like America, but in Gambia, the president can just wake up and do make a decision, and that's final. Do you really think Gambians are going to sit and die of hunger and not do nothing about it? No. A lot of people have lost their livelihood due to the Chinese people and their uh, fish factory in Gambia. But what more can they do when the people that are supposed to fight for them, the people that are supposed to protect them are the ones that are against them. It is very unfortunate that Gambians have fallen into a deeper ditch than what they were, they were into. Because if you don't know, Gambia came out from a 22 years dictatorship with the former president. So all they were thinking about is how to get out of that dictatorship rule, okay? And it's so unfortunate that we, I feel like we just got in ourselves into a bigger ditch. But that does not mean that Gambians don't know what goes on in Gambia. We know who controls Gambia. We know the majority of people that own businesses and keeps the country running belongs to foreigners. Even if it's not on YouTube, Gambians in Gambia are trying to stop all that but to no avail and also you have to understand that gambia is a very um small country it's a very small country and it's a poor country and also um internet is not good so not everybody can come out on youtube facebook or social any uh, social media platform and talk about what is going on it is just a few people it may look like a lot to us gambians but it is just a few people you know, but I noticed that because a lot of people are repatriating in the Gambia and a lot of people are making videos about the Gambia. A lot of people are um, talking about the bad things that go on in the Gambia and who owns Gambia and what, what who Gambia belongs to. Everybody thinks that we're just sitting and putting our hands together and doing nothing about it. Like I said, this is Africa. We cannot do much about it except our voice. The poor don't have nothing except their voice. The people in position are supposed to be the ones to do the job, be accountable for their actions. But how can we even hold anybody accountable when the person that um, leads everybody is the worst of all? With 2 million people, a population of 2 million people, Gambia is not supposed to be a poor country. Like, we are supposed to be one of the richest in Africa. Because, just because of the population. Just look at that. Gambia is in Senegal eight times. Because Senegal has eight, um, 16 million people. So we're in Senegal eight times. How can we be poor? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't. But the greed and selfishness... Of our leaders will not let them make Gambia rich. Instead, they're thinking of how to grab quickly before their time ends so that they can have a good life afterwards. What about the poor? What about the ones that don't have nothing? How about creating employment for um, the youths? Not only the youths and the educated people, but other people that are not even educated. If you create employment for them, everybody is going to be employed. How about creating factories? We have so much resources in Gambia, but we don't even see it. We don't see it. Other people come to our country and take care of all those resources. They see the resources better than we do, basically. The mindset of we cannot make anything or we cannot do anything or we cannot be great without the Western world is the problem with our leaders. Because they think that it's only the Western world that can help us. Anytime they come with a suggestion from the West, oh, that's a great suggestion. But we can't just sit and make, um, think of how to develop our own country. So for those of you who are thinking 
that Gambians don't want to talk about Lebanese, Chinese, and the white people. We know and we talk about them. So I would advise you make your research before you troll from one YouTube channel to another. There is some people that already talk about it, but every time like they post another video, they keep talking about it again. Why don't you make a video about this? But this person had already talked about that several times. How many times the heck are they going to talk about that? This is my channel and nobody tells me what to do. I do what makes me happy in what I want to do. If you are so concerned about Gambia, if you are so concerned about the Chinese and the Lebanese that are in Gambia and you want to kick them out, I would advise you go the heck in Gambia and kick them out yourself. Everywhere you go, you're going to find the Chinese and the Lebanese there. Trust me, including America. But they set boundaries. You cannot just come to America and be corrupt anyhow. But yes, you can go to Gambia and be corrupt. Because all you gotta do is give money to the people in positions and you're good to go. Nobody holds anybody accountable. If I'm your secretary, you're supposed to hold me accountable, but you are doing worse than I am doing. Now who's gonna hold, hold who accountable for that? So guys, like I said, Gambians know what is going on in Gambia. And until we all come together and find solutions to our problems, especially to the black people that are going to the Gambia, until we all come together and find solutions to our problem, it's never going to be better. I don't care um, who the person is, whether it's black, um, uh, Chinese, Lebanese, white. I don't care. If I see wrong, I am going to talk about it in my channel. And if I see good, I'm going to talk about it in my channel. But there's just certain people that, they, whatever you talk about, it, you, they're never satisfied unless you talk about what they want to hear. I'm not here to satisfy you. I'm not here to satisfy anybody. I open my YouTube channel to share my thoughts and do what I want to do on there. I don't have an issue with people sharing their opinions with me. I really, really, really appreciate people sharing their opinions with me because that way we can teach each other and learn, okay? You don't have to agree with what, I, what I'm saying, but you can leave your opinions down below respectfully. Don't come to my channel as if you're my mom or my dad. Leave your opinions with respect. Let's have a conversation. Let's um, teach each other. I can have a different opinion uh, from you, but maybe you can say something in the comment section that's going to change my mindset about things. Just, just be respectful, man. I just feel like some people, they, some people just don't have anything to do except sit, watch people's videos, and leave hate comments here and there. And I don't like to... I respond to hate comments, but sometimes I get pushed to the limit. I don't like to block people, but I'm going to start blocking people. Because if you're going to spoil my day, you don't need to be on my channel. Period. Like I said, Gambians know what's going on in Gambia. Gambians talk about it. We know we have a problem of the West taking over in the Gambia. Of all the good opportunities being given to the Western world, we know we have a problem of our youths being unemployed, pushing them to the Mediterranean Sea, to Libya, and they being treated like slaves there. Listen, Gambians have a lot of issues that they need to tackle. And Gambians are on social media talking about those issues every day. The biggest disappointment we have right now is the present government. Come 2020, they better remove that government. Because if that government should stay for another five years, I do not see Yambia going anywhere. Because all these things we're talking about right now, it's just going to be in vain. So guys, we know and we talk about it. And if you guys are really interested in that, just go on YouTube and type whatever you want to type. And Gambian issues will come, come up. Recently, a Gambian um, guy called Nyang Jai made a video about the Denton Bridge Oyster Creek being damaged because of the Chinese vessels. That video is on YouTube and I'm going to leave it down below. He did mention a lot of things to the extent of going to the ministry. 
But is he gonna make every video about that? Is he gonna make every of his YouTube video um, about that? No. People can talk about whatever they wanna talk about. I can talk about the Chinese people today and I can talk about the black people tomorrow. Anyways, like I said, I don't have a problem with people sharing their opinions on my comment section. But the bias comments is unacceptable and I am going to be deleting comments and blocking people because if you are going to be disrespectful on my channel or on my comment section then you don't need to be over there please guys let's respect each other and let's share our opinions respectfully and learn from each other that is it for this video make sure you like and subscribe if you still want to see a lot more content from me and I will see you in my next one. Bye.